Hello friends, in the last video we have solved first four examples from exercise 5.4. Now we are solving example number 5. If you observe example number 5 dot product is given, we have to find out dot product magnitude of u bar is given, v bar is given and magnitude of cross product is also given to us. And uh, in one example we have seen one relation between dot product and what cross product and that identity is called as what Lagrange identity. Here also these examples can be solved applying Lagrange identity. But uh, that result is not given as a theorem or formula. So first we have to prove that identity and later on applying that identity we will solve the example. So already we know that magnitude of u bar cross v bar is defined as what magnitude of u bar into magnitude of v bar into sin theta. Let us see what we will get if we are squaring both sides. So square on both sides. So here we will get square of magnitude of u bar cross v bar. Here we will get square of magnitude of u bar. Here we will get square of magnitude of v bar. And here we will get sin square theta. Just simply we are squaring both sides. Now on this side magnitude of square of u bar into square of magnitude of square of v bar keep it as it is this sin square theta can be replaced by 1 minus cos square theta so which is equal to now two terms are there in this bracket i am multiplying to both the terms by square of magnitude of u bar and v bar so what we'll get here mag square of magnitude of u bar into square of magnitude of v bar minus now multiply to the second term also so square of magnitude of u bar into square of magnitude of v bar into cos square theta. So which is equal to keep this first term as it is. This into square of magnitude of v bar as it is. Now if we are taking square common from all the terms let us see what we will get. Minus here we will get magnitude of u bar into magnitude of v bar cos theta. We have just simply taken square common from all the terms using laws of exponent or laws of indices. Now keep this first term square of magnitude of u bar into square of magnitude of v bar as it is. Already we know that definition of a bar dot b bar is what magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into cos theta. If you observe this term magnitude of u bar into magnitude of v bar into cos theta is nothing but the value of what u bar dot v bar according to definition of dot product and keep this square as it is square as it is let us denote this equation say by equation number first keep this left hand side magnitude of v u bar cross v bar whole bracket square as it is and this result is called as what Lagrange identity now applying this equation we are trying to solve the first and second example now in the first example what is given to us in the first example magnitude of u bar is given to us will be equals to 2 magnitude of v bar is given to us phi u and magnitude of u bar cross v bar is equals to what 8. So from equation first from equation first what result we have got magnitude of u bar cross v square of magnitude of u bar cross v bar is equal to square of magnitude of u bar into square of magnitude of v bar minus square of dot product of u bar and v bar. Now remaining part is just to substitute the values replace u bar cross v bar magnitude of u bar cross v bar by its value 8 keep this square as it is magnitude of u bar is equal to 2 so here we will get 2 square into magnitude of v bar replace it by phi u minus square of u bar dot v bar as it is this minus term on this side will become plus means square of u bar dot v bar keep it as it is this minus term simply on this side will become plus what is square of 5 25 square of 2 4 so 4 into 25 is equals to 100 and minus keep it uh, sorry this term already we have taken it on this side on this side what we are getting square of it is 64 plus 64 on this side will become minus 64 so on this side we will get 36 so what is the value of u bar dot v bar whole bracket square is 36 which implies that u bar dot v bar is equals to either plus or minus 6 just simply we are taking square root on both sides 
So square root of this side, if you are taking square root of left hand side, square will get cancelled and square root of 36 is either plus 6 or what minus 6 and that is the value which we have to find out in the first example. Now we are solving the second example. Observe in the second example, what is the given condition? Magnitude of u bar is given to us, how much? 10. Magnitude of v bar is equals to 2 and magnet, sorry, dot product of u bar and v bar will be equals to 12. All these values are given to us using this question is to find out magnitude of u bar cross v bar. Again, we are using this Lagrange identity, uh, so which we have denoted by equation number first. So from equation first, what result we are getting? Square of magnitude of u bar cross v bar is equals to square of magnitude of u bar into square of magnitude of u v bar minus dot product of u bar in and v bar whole bracket square. Now remaining part is just to substitute the value. What is the magnitude of u bar? 10. So here we will get 10 square into. Now square of magnitude of v bar means here 2, 2 square minus value of dot product is equal to 12. So 12 square. So which is equal to what is square of 10? 100. And square of 2 is what? 4. 100 into 4 will be equals to 400 minus square of 12 will be equals to 144. Uh, what is the difference of these two number will be equals to 256. So on this side, magnitude of u bar cross v bar whole bracket square, keep it as it is. Just simply now we are taking square root on both sides. If we are taking square root of left hand side here, square will get cancelled. The square will get cancelled. On this side, what is square root of 256? Square root of 256 is what? 16. Either plus 16 or what? Minus 16. But we are not considering here negative root because this is this side is what? Magnitude. Magnitude means what? Length. And length cannot be what? Negative. In this way, we have got the value of magnitude of u bar cross v bar. So you are able to say that here units also. Because unit of measurement is not known to us. Just write down this magnitude will be equal to how much? 16 units. Magnitude means length. That's why we are not considering negative root here because length cannot be negative. So in this way, we have got our required value magnitude of u bar cross v bar. So remember this Lagrange identity, uh, which is called as what relation between dot product and what cross product. As it stand, it is not given as a theorem. That's why first we are going, we are proving this identity and let on applying this identity, we are solving the examples. So well, observe the example number 6. In example number 6, question is to prove that twice a bar minus b bar cross twice a bar plus b bar is equal to 4 times cross product of a bar and b bar. So here, uh, to prove this, first we are considering left hand side. Let us simplify this left hand side. Simplifying, we have to show that its value is equal to what? RHS. Now, uh, we, we have written some properties that associative property, commutative property, distributive property and many results related with what cross product. All these results we have to utilize here. So one of the result is that m a bar, m a bar cross n b bar can be written as. Means we are finding cross product of these two vector m and n are what scalars. So if m and n are scalar, we are able to take the scalar on one side and then find the cross product of what a bar and b bar so this is one of the important result which we are applying here here which are the scalar 2 and 2 are nothing but scalar so take it on one side so will be will become 2 into 2 and in bracket what we will get first vector is a bar minus b bar cross second vector is what a bar plus b bar isn't it? Here first vector is a bar and second vector is b bar. But here first vector is a bar minus b bar and second vector is a bar plus b bar. We are taking their cross product and the scalar we have taken on one side. Okay. So then here 2 into 2 will become what? 4. Now we are taking cross product, cross product of these two bracket. Observe this cross product very carefully. First we are taking cross product of this a bar with both the terms in this bracket. What will the first term? A bar cross A bar. A bar cross A bar. 
second term will be a bar cross b bar so plus a bar cross b bar now we are taking cross product of minus b bar with both the terms in this bracket let us see what we will get minus b bar cross a bar minus b bar cross a bar and here minus into plus will become minus and b bar cross b bar just simply we have taken cross product of what these two brackets so here four keep it as it is uh, in cross product applying the definition of cross product we have got some important result and one of the important result is what cross product of same vector is equal to zero so a bar cross a bar will be equals to zero this a bar cross b bar keep it as it is even in uh, cross product we have seen that commutative property does not satisfy that a bar cross b bar and b bar cross a bar are not equal but in that at that time we have got one important condition also that minus b bar cross a bar can be replaced by what plus a bar cross b bar because these two vector a bar cross b bar and b bar cross a bar are having equal magnitude but their directions are what opposite so that's why if minus we are replacing by plus we will get what b bar cross a bar will become a bar cross b bar so this result even we have proved uh, when we have discussed the uh, result uh, of cross product important result of cross product which we have got applied definition of cross product now a bar cross b bar can be written as what minus b bar cross a bar or minus b bar cross a bar can be replaced by a bar cross b bar their directions are opposite if you are interchanging these two vector minus will get replaced by plus its meaning is that their magnitudes are equal but directions are opposite now this uh, cross product of same vector will be equals to what zero so here minus keep it as it is b bar cross b bar will be equals to zero so which is equals to four keep it as it is not necessary to write this zero just take addition of this two term a bar cross b bar plus a bar cross b bar will be twice a bar cross b bar and uh, here two into four will be equals to what eight eight a bar cross b bar so if you observe here result after simplifying this what result we are getting here 8 a bar cross b bar but if you observe the question here 4 is given on this side i think that it will be a mistake uh, so instead of 4 here i think we will require what 8 8 a bar cross b bar now uh, so already you know that the textbook is what new this year a uh, new syllabus is there so some print mistake may be there in the textbook uh, in new edition this print mistake will get uh, removed but uh, after simplifying it just now we have simplified it and we will come to know that here definitely we will get what 8 uh, it is not possible to get what 4 here so i think there will be print mistake in textbook so replace that 4 by what 8 here So now observe the question number 7, in question number 7, 3 vector a bar, b bar, c bar is given to us and we have to verify that a bar cross b bar plus c bar is equal to a bar cross b bar plus a bar cross c bar which is nothing but what distributive property. Uh, so we have to verify that distributive property holds or not. So already we know that since it is a property means definitely it will it is true means definitely the value of left hand side will be equals to what right hand side. So well, now first we are trying to find out value of this left hand side and later on we will try to find out value of right hand side. So if you observe this left hand side, here a bar is required, a bar is already given to us. Again which value is required? b bar plus c bar means we have to take the addition of this b bar and c bar. So therefore b bar plus c bar will be equals to take the addition of these two vector 4i cap minus 3j cap plus k cap plus c bar c bar is equal to i cap minus j cap plus 2k cap so which is equals to first we are collecting the terms of i cap 4 i cap plus i cap will be equals to 5 i cap then collect the terms of j cap minus 3j minus j will be equals to minus 4j cap lastly collect the terms of k cap k cap plus 2k cap will be equals to 3k cap Okay. Once the addition is known to us, now we are trying to find out this cross product. So therefore, a bar cross b bar plus c bar is equal to. 
we know that the two vectors are in Cartesian form. At that time, cross product can be found out using determinant. So here in the first row, write down basic vector i cap, j cap, k cap. In the second row, write down the coefficient from a bar where its coefficients are 1, minus 2, 3. And in the third row, write down the coefficient from which vector b bar plus c bar. Where here coefficients are 5, minus 4, 3. So this implies that a bar cross b bar plus c bar will be equals to. First we are finding coefficient of what? I cap. Uh, observe the calculation here. So here uh, delete this column. This product is minus 6. Minus minus means plus 12. Minus 6 plus 12 will be equals to 6. Here plus j cap is there. Then write down here minus j cap. So delete the second column, find out determinant of these four elements. So here we will get uh, 3, 3 minus 15 will be minus 12. Minus and this minus will become plus 12. Lastly, let us try to find out coefficient of k cap. So delete this column, this product is minus 4, minus 4, minus, minus means plus 10. Minus 4 plus 10 will be equal to what? Plus 6. Let us denote this value, say by equation number first which is nothing but value of what left hand side means value of left hand side is known to us now we are trying to find out value of right hand side to find out value of right hand side first we have to find out a bar cross b bar then a bar cross c bar and later on take its addition so let us try to find out a bar cross b bar so now we are finding cross product of a bar and b bar is equal to again to find out cross product we are using what determinant method so when vectors are represented in Cartesian form. What are the coefficient in A bar? 1, minus 2, 3. Coefficient from B bar are 4, minus 3, 1. So let us simplify this determinant. Let us see what will the coefficient of I cap. Delete this column. This product is minus 2. Minus 2, minus, minus means uh, plus 9. Minus 2, plus 9 will be equals to 7. Here plus j cap is there, then write down minus j cap, delete this second column, find out determinant of these four elements. 1 minus 12, 1 minus 12 will be equals to minus 11, minus and this minus will become plus 11. Lastly, let us try to find out coefficient of k cap. So delete this column, this product is minus 3, minus 3 and minus minus plus 8. Minus 3 plus 8 will be equals to plus 5. Now find out the next required value that is a bar cross c bar. a bar cross c bar and a bar cross c bar will be equals to. Again use determinant method to find out this cross product. What are the coefficient in a bar? 1 minus 2, 3. Coefficient from c bar is equal to 1 minus 1, 2. Let us simplify this determinant. First we are trying to find out coefficient of i cap delete this column minus 4. Uh, minus minus means plus 3 minus 4 plus 3 will be minus 4 plus 3 will be 1 minus 1 so minus i cap so here then write down minus j cap delete this column 2 minus 3 is minus 1 minus 1 and this minus will become plus 1 so not necessary right plus 1 here lastly we are trying to find out coefficient of k cap so delete this third column let us simplify this determinant means find out determinant of these four elements. So here minus 1, minus, minus, plus 2, minus 1, plus 2 will be equals to plus 1. So now value of a bar, a, a bar cross b bar and a bar cross c bar is also known to us. According to right hand side, we have to find out their addition. So therefore, a bar cross b bar plus a bar cross c bar is equals to what is the value of a bar cross b bar that is 7 i cap plus 11 j cap plus 5 k cap plus value of a bar cross c bar is equal to minus i cap plus j cap plus k cap so which is equal to now find out the addition collect the terms of i cap 7 i minus i will be equals to 6 i cap then collect the terms of j cap 11 plus 1 will be equals to 12 j cap lastly collect the terms of k cap 5 k cap plus 1 k cap will be equals to 6 k cap let us denote this result say by equation number 2 
Now if you observe this equation first and this equation second, check whether right hand sides are equal. Means we can say that left hand sides are also equal. So from equation first and second, we can say that a bar cross b bar plus c bar is equal to is equal to a bar cross b bar plus a bar cross c bar. And this is the result which we have to do here. So in this way we have proved distributive property.